Good luck. The last assistant who lost her interns lost her job too. Not to worry. My new intern is already here. This job offer won't last forever. No way am I gonna work for you. I came here to see if you wanted to have lunch, not sign up for indentured servitude. Penelope, I see on Gossip Girl that you're between 36 and 48th Street. That is a tasteful gift-free zone. Get back in the cab. What do you mean you don't know the price of the Prada clutch? You are Prada. Let me speak to Mucha. Tell me, for someone who is so determined to remain a free person, why are you still here? Listen, I'm not gonna work for you, but as a friend, I am willing to help out. All you have to do is admit you need me. What? Never. The last person I need is Dan Humphrey, who shouldn't flatter himself by thinking he's my friend. Yes, I need immediate delivery of four venti lattes with extra shots, none of which are for you. Oh, good. I don't really like refreshments with my theater. Ren Harold? Well, then take off your shoes and chase her down because I need that opera. As a front of book idea. They're doing Boris Goodenough this spring. Who doesn't love czars and Cossacks? It seems like a better concept for fall, but I'll run it by the group. But you're not ready to admit you need my help? Never. No, never isn't what he transitioned Spain into. It's modernism, and don't get caught talking during a test. When was the last time you slept? Sleep is for the week, and speaking of which, don't act like I don't know why you're really here. It's because you're avoiding Ben and Serena at the loft. No, well, I'm waiting for you to crack. <laughs> Stefano said to research the opera, and what's the ETA on today's blog post? Uh, uh, within the hour. Blair, you, if you take on one more thing, you're gonna break. Blair, we need your help with the scheme. She can't. Uh, I can. New paragraph. The nude Maha began Goya's separation from religious iconography. What are you doing here? I'm leaving. This just went from woman on the verge to saw two. I don't like gore porn, really. Are you sure you can help us? You seem pretty busy. A takedown only takes two minutes. Stefan Otonki's office, please hold. Yes, you hold too, Jessica. Tell me the plot points. Penelope, I'm putting someone else on gifts. Return immediately for your new and urgent flower mission. All the details are in a purple sticky note on my computer. It's about time. You texted me like two minutes ago. I was downstairs getting a sandwich. Now what's so urgent? I wanted to tell you that you were right about that thing. And which thing was that? I, Blair Waldorf, need Dan Humphrey's help. As a friend and peer, not as an underling. As my friend and peer, not my underling. Mm -hmm. As my friend and peer, not an underling. Culinary crisis and features. Ted's got a lead on rare white truffles in Tuscany. We need you. OK, so hey, what, uh, what do you want me to do? It's all on my desk. Just start. Painting it black has nothing on the trouble one piece of purple paper can cause. Blair, what were you thinking? That I would arrive at this party and be greeted appropriately. I know you only admitted you needed me so you could make me a drug mule. That sticky note was meant for Penelope. <laughs> Frankly, with her attitude, she could use some time behind bars. So that's it? There's no I'm sorry I could have gotten you arrested? Well, you're here. The party's lovely. Everything obviously turned out fine. Except that you sent Dan to get the wrong flowers. The tulips with the coke were pink. And I wrote that down. <laughs> this one's on you, Humphrey. You wrote purple. Classic Stroop effect. Where you write or say a color that you see instead of the one you mean. You're not the only one who knows his neurodysfunction. Happy birthday. Uh, yeah, right. Damien just called. Turns out he pre-sold the coke and is therefore on his way to pick up the $100,000. He says, I now owe him. That's insane. Nobody has that kind of money, do they? Not on them, but we need it now or he's going to outmom mom here tonight. It's your 18th birthday, which means the checkbook to your Rhodes Trust Fund is somewhere in that pile of presents. OK. All right, let's get on wrapping. I know you're thinking that Stroop is one of the symptoms of chronic fatigue, but I'm not even tired. <laughs> 